Hello, I am Vitrivel, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Cape Town. In this video, we will discuss how to troubleshoot high CPU utilization in Amazon Relational Database Service for PostgreSQL or Amazon Aurora PostgreSQL Compatible Edition using Amazon CloudWatch and Enhanced Monitoring. Then we will leverage PostgreSQL's engine specific method views to identify the bottleneck. Let's get started. An increase in CPU usage can often be caused by workload. After identifying CPU spikes using AWS tools such as CloudWatch and Enhanced Monitoring, you can use performance insights and also engine specific monitoring techniques to find the root cause of CPU spikes. For this demo, I have created an Amazon RDS instance and generated a workload that maximized the CPU usage. Let's check how we can identify CPU spikes by using CloudWatch. First, log in to the AWS Management Console and then navigate to the Amazon RDS Console. Then select the DB Instances page. Select the instance that has high CPU utilization and then navigate to the Monitoring tab. Choose the CPU utilization graph. The graph opens in a pop-up window. Select the time periods when you were facing the high CPU utilization and then note them. You can use the other filter options to help narrow down your metric. For example, select maximum from the drop-down list to show the maximum values that the metrics has reached in that minute or select a particular time by hovering over the metrics and selecting the particular part. And so, we have narrowed down the time period when the value is high for CPU utilization. Now, you can use CloudWatch metrics to identify CPU patterns over extended periods. Compare the graphs, write IOPS, read IOPS, write throughput and read throughput with the CPU utilization to find when the workload caused high CPU. Now, let's identify CPU spikes using enhanced monitoring. Before we do that, let's talk a bit about enhanced monitoring. In looking at this time frame, you can review the enhanced monitoring data associated with your DB instance. This allows you to collect data at a more granular level than with CloudWatch. Enhanced monitoring provides a view at the operating system or OS level, which can help identify the cause of a high CPU load. For example, you can review the load average and CPU distribution, and you can view the OS process list and check which process is causing a high rate of CPU utilization. By using enhanced monitoring, you can check the load average minute data in intervals of 1, 5 and 15 minutes. If the load average is greater than the number of vCPUs, then the instance is under a heavy load. Also, if the load average is less than the number of vCPUs for the DB instance class, then CPU throttling might not be the cause of the application latency. Check the load average to avoid false positives when diagnosing the cause of CPU usage. Open the configuration tab from DB instance page. Copy the resource ID from the configuration tab. Type CloudWatch in the search bar. Open the logs section from the left navigation panel. Choose RDS OS metrics from the list of log groups. Paste the copied resource ID in the search bar. Open the logs at the timings of high CPU utilization and you will be able to see the load average minute data for that time. You can use Amazon RDS Performance Insights to identify the query responsible for the database load after checking the SQL tab that corresponds to a particular time frame. Let's go back to the Amazon RDS console. Choose Performance Insights from left navigation panel. Choose your database instance from the drop-down list. Select the timings for the last 5 minutes and show the top sequels. Now, let's see how we can identify the issue from the database engine. 
PostgreSQL offers two catalog views, PG Stat activity for real-time database session monitoring, PG Stat statements created by the PG Stat statements extension for tracking, planning, and execution statistics of all SQL statements that are performed by PostgreSQL engine. The PG Stat activity can help you group the machines, clients, and IP addresses that send the most traffic along with wait event of running session. This information can help you identify the client responsible for causing high CPU usage. With PG Stat statements, you can find how many times a particular query has been executed, the time it took per execution, total time, and I/O cost by the query. Let's use PG Stat activity to see what's going on in the database. Let's see if there are any open transactions. Let's see how long these transactions have been running for. Let's see if there are any queries running. As we can see, there are transactions and queries running on the database causing high CPU usage. You must investigate from the application end if the workload is meaningful. Now, let's use PG Stat statements to find top consumers. For more information on PG Stat statements, refer to the link in the Knowledge Center article. After setting up PG Stat statements, check performance of queries by running a combination of queries using PG Stat statements. Let's check queries by total time and see which query spent most time in the database. Let's check queries with the total number of calls, total rows, and rows returned. Let's check queries on a per execution basis to sample queries over time. To learn how to activate logging, refer to the link in the Knowledge Center article. Apart from using PG Stat activity and PG Stat statements, you can also configure the log min duration statement parameter to intended value so that any queries running over specified period of time or logged into PostgreSQL's log file. This helps in finding slow queries that are degrading performance. After you identify the queries causing the high CPU usage, you can use the following methods to further lower the CPU usage. If there are any opportunities for tuning, use explain and explain analyze to identify caveats and reduce the time spent by a query. Make sure that query planner statistics are up to date. If there is a query that is running repeatedly, consider using prepared statements to lower the pressure on your CPU, as repeated execution of prepared statements will cache a query plan and any further runs will reduce the time for planning as plan is already in cache. If not, investigate from the application to see if the repeatedness is valid. If your workload is meaningful and you don't find any tuning opportunities, consider to scale up your instance class to gain more vCPUs to compensate the increase in workload. So now you know how to troubleshoot high CPU utilization issues in Amazon RDS for PostgreSQL or Aurora PostgreSQL compatible. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. 